What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about the changes coming to loot and the level it drops at with the patch coming next week with the hard mode, Wrath of the Machine Raid. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is very much appreciated. Let's aim for 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. Okay, so Bungie just got done with a weekly update and if you guys want to check out the entire thing, I will link it in the video description. Uh, so basically, on October 18th, corresponding with the release of the Heroic Mode for the Wrath of the Machine Raid, your maximum obtainable light level will be increased to 400. With this increase, many reward sources will also increase their maximum light. Strike Hordes, Nightfalls, Exotic Engrams, Trials of Osiris, Crucible and Iron Banner will now provide rewards up to that 400 light level. Arkans Forge, the Heroic Siva Strike playlist and legendary engrams will now provide rewards up to a 385 light. Rare engrams and the Siva Strike playlist will now provide rewards up to that 365 light. The recommended light for these activities will remain the same except for Nightfalls. This will be increased to a recommended light of 380. This basically helps people who are striving to reach a heroic Raffle Machine raid or even attempt their first run at normal Raffle Machine. Like I've said before, I feel a lot of players are left behind because of the way you earn gear in this game and the way it affects your light level. With the changes that are coming with the patch next week, I think this does nothing but help you guys who are struggling to find light. Now Bungie do state that artifacts and ghosts are dropping from fewer sources than intended and have now been added to Arkham's Forge completion rewards. These items will now drop up to a 400 lights. In faction packages, the rate at which ghost shells are rewarded has been increased. And likewise, the rate of artifacts from Ares' faction packages have also been increased. They also state that these changes are basically just a preview of what we'll find in the 2.4.1 patch deployment which begins at approximately 10am Pacific on Tuesday the 18th of October which is 6pm UK time. They also state as well to ensure that all world's first hopeful fire teams have time to download the update. Heroic mode for Wrath of the Machine will begin at 2pm Pacific time on Tuesday the 18th of October. This will be 10pm UK time. To be honest, it's actually a really good thing for me. I'm not sure about anybody else, but the later the better. Now about the changes to loot, to be honest, I didn't think they would change the outcome of loot obtainable from legendary and rare engrams, but it's great to see that they have. Like I just mentioned, it helps a lot of people left behind and will help them get their light up to date faster. Now what I'd suggest you guys do is go and get them three coins from Xur and farm exotics and save them for post patch. Hopefully they equipped at a higher light than obtainable now. But even if they don't, you really have nothing to lose. So go get them three coins, grind exotics, wait until Tuesday, wait until after the patch and decrypt them. Hopefully it will help you get your light even higher for the new heroic mode raid. But yes guys, tell me what you think about the changes to loot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.